Hello, this is Sophie Trifle Production with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to introduce you guys to an add-on which I've showcased before called the Levy Scraper add-on. But it's ha it's got a feature which I feel is a hidden feature in it, which I'd know before, which is that when you add HDRI images into Blender using the, the Levy Scraper add-on, what it does is that you can activate a feature within the add-on that causes a plane or a ground plane to be created for your HDRI image. Now, it's the usual process of installing it. You, I'll leave a link of the uh, download in the description below this video. But once you've downloaded it onto your computer, it's the same steps in uh, installing it in Blender Edit, Preferences. And then you would go to Install and navigate to where you've installed it on your system and click on install add-on which I've already done. Let me close that out. Let me type in Lily. And you just uh, put a check in the box there. And not only that, to activate the other feature of using the ground plane within the uh, add-on, you have to click put a check in this box also. Usually it's by default there's no check in it. So you just add a check box in the check or the check in the check box and then it's activated. Which I don't know why this feature isn't automatically on by default but this is the process for that. And you close that out. And before you actually uh, use the add-on I've already put Suzanne in here with the subsurface modifier on her to make her smooth. Once you've done that you'll see that there are options in the world uh, tab and then a texture tab also. Uh, you've got I've got someone coughing in the background. I apologize for that. that. That wasn't me. That was someone else. But you have these options for the textures that you, you can apply to your model. Um, and it gives you four websites because this is all uh, from online. That's how the Lee Scraper works. It actually helps you navigates to a website that has textures already usually they're free you click on the texture it doesn't import the textures for you, you have to actually uh, copy the link into blender to use the textures and the same thing with the uh, HDRI add-on but before you do that you'd have to save your project first before any of that will be activated usually if you would uh, try to use it without saving your project they'll give you a warning saying that your project needs to be saved first, which we've, I've already done. I've saved this, so that's why all these options are here for us to use. And right now we're going to use the World tab. <coughs> so we're going to go to, let me see, choose one of these. I would choose the first one. I've already actually downloaded it, a texture, but I'm going to do it again just for the sake of this tutorial. So we're going to go to Polyhaven HDRI, click on that, which is the new name for HDRI Haven. So we're going to navigate to that. We're going to pick this grassy plane here. Click on that. And in order for you to have this imported into Blender, you're going to copy the link for the uh, HDRI image. So highlight that and left click on that, or right click actually, and press copy. Let's minimize that. Then you're go, going to go to import from clipboard. Click on that. Left click. And it'll give you options here. Uh, it goes all the way up to I've seen in some. Oh, it goes all the way to up to 24K, which I didn't know that. But just keep in mind, even though it's 24K HDR, it'll be a crisper, cleaner background or HDR HDRI input, but it'll cause Blender to lag quite a bit. So it's better to stay within the 8 to 4K ratio or options here. If you want to really push it, go up to 16, but that's kind of taking a chance with Blender crashing. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to go with 2K. I'm going to left click on that and click on OK. It's going to take some time. And this is for Blender 2.82. That's I think this is the only uh, version that it works in and works for. And to see this happen in our viewport in terms of the HDRI image being imported into Blender, we're going to go to our render properties click on that turn from EV to cycles and CPU to GPU 
and this only works if you have a very strong graphics card which I do have on my uh, laptop here and I'm going to change our viewport rendering here to cycles and there we go now this is uh, 2k that's why it looks this pixelated but it, once again if it's 16 or 8 to 16 in terms of the uh, resolution it'll be a lot clearer than this a lot crisper than this but for the sake of this tutorial we're going with 2k and once again if you go higher than this uh, 8 to 16 it can cause uh, blender to lag and maybe even crash so safer stay within the, the 8k range that's the safe spot now it's done a very good job of actually having our image here or Susan actually on top of the ground which is what we're wanting when it comes to uh, an HRI image but to add more realism to it there needs to be a shadow here now you can't really see uh, the shadow here so let's import another one where you can actually see the shadow on the ground a lot better so we're gonna go to our world options again and the cool thing about this too is that it gives you a, a little thumbnail of what's here so if you click on this oh it, it actually stores it okay so if it stores all the HDRI images that you download through the Lily Scraper add-on onto your system so I don't have to go back into uh, the uh, import options I just have to click on the one I downloaded before let's click on that and let's choose 2k for this also and click OK and I was changed it to this now you can see there is no shadow here and that's one thing that is kind of iffy with some add-ons in blender when I first did this tutorial as a practice run I saw a pretty huge sh shadow here but now it's gone but let's see if we can fix that now we're going to need a shadow to be projected onto uh, the ground to add more realism to our scene here. So I'm going to go Shift A on our keyboard, go to Mesh, click on Plane, and I'm going to scale this up with S. And now we can see the shadow. And that's what we're wanting. We see two shadows because I have a sunlight in here. So let's go up to our, let me see, where's the light here? And click on the eye to turn off that uh, light source. And now the only thing that's lighting our image of Susan or our uh, model Suzanne is the HDR, HDRI scenery and that's what we're wanting here we just want one realistic shadow now you can see that we have the plane here which we don't want to see at all so in order to fix that let's left click on our plane go to our object tab object properties click on that I'm going to scroll down to visibility click on that and from the drop down menu click on shadow catcher and now we press A on our keyboard and now that's eliminated the uh, plane but we still have our shadow which is what we're wanting now this is great but if I want to help uh, you guys understand something with uh, Suzanne here if it's a reflective image then sometimes what could happen is you'll see the uh, mesh plane in the reflection so let's click on Suzanne and see if that's going to happen uh, with Suzanne. We're going to go down to our texture tab, material tab, and click on that. Click on new. Let's name this Suzy Glossy. Okay. <clears throat> we're going to go down here and we're going to increase our metallic value all the way up. We want a, a crisp reflection on Suzanne. And we're going to increase our specularity all the way up turn on our roughness all the way down and now you can see we have Suzanne reflecting our scenery now because the snow is white and the ground is white also you can't see the reflection but let's jump back to our grass HDRI image and see if we can see the uh, plane in her reflection so we're going to go back up to our world view click on that thumbnail and click on the grassy field and let's see what happens let's choose 2k again and click OK and you can see here that the plane is still being seen 
on our reflective image or reflective surface of Suzanne, which is not what we want. We want just the grass to be seen on her. So in order to fix that, we're going to click on our plane and we're going to go to our object uh, properties and in, let me see, ray visibility, turn off glossy and that fixes that. So if you are using an HDRI image and you're using uh, a plane to as a shadow catcher and you have a reflective surface on your mesh in order to fix that go to ray visibility and turn off the glossy and that's going to fix uh, the reflection of the plane on to our reflective image of your mesh. So yeah that's today's um, a uh, quick tip, and I hope I covered everything in terms of how to use the Lily Catcher, Lily Scraper add-on in Blender, which is free, to uh, use an HDRI image inside of Blender with a ground plane. And I hope it was helpful to you who are, who are listening. And once again, I really appreciate you guys who have been watching the videos uh, and uh, watching the channel. Really thank you guys for that. Thank you guys who have subscribed in the past, those of you who are subscribing now, and those of you who will subscribe in the future. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.